Dear respected elders and brothers in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to my channel, Forgive Me Allah. We are now on part 3 of the miracles of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Imam Buhari and Imam Muslim have narrated on the authority of Hazrat Sahal bin Sa'd anhu, that the Prophet, peace be upon him, one day during the Battle of Haybad said, Tomorrow I shall grant the flag to a person from whom Allah Almighty will bestow victory. He is the person who loves Allah and his Prophet, peace be upon him, and Allah Almighty and his Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa hold him as their friend. When the day broke, the people came, hoping the grant of the flag. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Where is Ali ibn Abi Talib? The people submitted that his eyes had been sore, the Prophet, peace be upon him, sent for him. The people brought him to the Prophet, peace be upon him. He, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, applied his mouth saliva on his eyes, which became clear with the blessings of his mouth saliva. No pain was left in his eyes, and it seemed as if his eyes had never been sore. Then the Prophet, peace be upon him, granted him the flag. Thus, Haybud was conquered at the hands of Ali on account of his bravery and valour. This is to say, it happened exactly the same which the Prophet, peace be upon him, had observed. Getting of the eyes normal with the blessings of the mouth, saliva of the Prophet, peace be upon him, is also a miracle. The next hadith that we see, miracle number 22, Imam Bayhaqi narrated that one day the Prophet, peace be upon him, saw Hazrat Abu Zubayd and Hazrat Ali laughing mutually. Addressing Hazrat Ali, the Prophet, peace be upon him, asked him if he held, if he held Hazrat Zubayd dear. Hazrat Ali replied, O Prophet of Allah, how I can't hold him dear because he is the son of my aunt and follower of my religion. Then the Prophet, peace be upon him, addressing Hazrat Abu Zubair, inquired from him if he had held Hazrat Ali dear. Hazrat Zubair replied, Yes, of course. How I can't hold him dear because he is the son of my maternal uncle and follower of my religion. Then again, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, O Zubair, one day you will fight with Ali and you will be the transgressor. Thus, during the Battle of Jamal, Hazrat Zubayd confronted while Hazrat Ali radiallahu in the battle. When Hazrat Ali radiallahu reminded him of the statement of the Prophet peace be upon him regarding his confrontation with him and transgression over him, Hazrat Zubayd radiallahu replied in the positive and added that he had forgotten it. With that, Hazrat Zubayd retreated and Ibn Jabrud killed Hazrat Zubayd in the valley known as al Sabba. Thus it happened exactly in accordance with the prediction of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. That is to say, Hazrat Zubayr the Anhu confronted with Hazrat Ali when he was sleeping in the valley, Ibn Jabrud killed him.